a primary school in the UK city of Birmingham has caved into pressure and pulled the plug on lessons on homosexuality. That's after hundreds of parents kept their children at home in protest. We can now cross live to Polly Boyka for more. Polly, this is quite a protest, all the pupils leaving the school. Why were their parents so unhappy about these lessons? Yeah, some kids might be happy to leave school under any banner, but the cause of this row is an educational program called No Outsiders, and it aims to teach kids about the different types of families that they might encounter, and that means talking to kids as young as four about the concept of having two daddies, say, or two mummies, and reading books to the kids that introduce these ideas. Um, some of them feature things like two princes falling in love with each other and it was all devised by the deputy head at uh, of this school in Birmingham that is now at the center of this row his name is Andrew Moffat and he's actually been shortlisted for the world's best teacher award take a look at him talking about the program mummy Lula hugged her and now they're sick on both of them <laughs> mummy Nini got some tissues and wiped them both no outsiders is about teaching children that you are different but you can still be friends with anybody. There's a huge rise in hate crime in the last year. As schools we have to find ways to teach children to talk, to counter that really. But the majority of the parents in the school where he currently teaches are unhappy with his methods and the The reason is that it is a predominantly Muslim school and parents fundamentally disagree with the idea of their kids being taught about homosexuality and LGBT issues. And up until now, the school had really stood firm and said that they would continue with this very necessary diversity program. But now, a number of media outlets are reporting that the school has stopped these diversity lessons. Take a listen. Up to the end of this term, we will not be delivering any No Outsiders lessons in our long-term year curriculum plan, as this half-term has already been blocked for religious education. Equality assemblies will continue as normal, and our welcoming No Outsiders ethos will be there for all. Now, a group of parents said that last week, as many as 600 Muslim children, that's about 80% of the school's pupils, had been kept away from school by their parents. The school wouldn't confirm the number, but these protests have taken place several times over the course of this row, and they've been pretty sizable. Take a look. You're not sure whether they fully understood the implications of this program. So this assistant head teacher has been forced to defend these lessons for quite a while now. Um, there was a petition that around 400 pre predominantly Muslim parents signed as well, asking for these lessons to be dropped from the curriculum. So this is really clearly an issue that bothers, as I said, this very conservative Muslim community where the school is located. Um, being gay is forbidden in Islam. And I reported on this story a few weeks ago.